Hey everybody, welcome back to the Haven Family Farm. My name is Chris and in today's video, we're gonna try and see if we can fix the problem with our brand new mini excavator. Uh, it has about 10 hours or so on it now. We'll take a look at that and I'll show you. But at about 9.2, 9.4 hours, something like that, I was using it and it started to experience kind of a power loss. Um, so to me, it almost acts like a uh, plugged fuel filter. Uh, is, is kind of what it, it acts like. It'll sit idle fine, but if you rev it up and uh, even driving up a slight grade or you know not even really working it, um, it, it was kind of balking down and, and not working right. So um, so I called Messix where I bought the uh, mini excavator from. I told them you know what it sounded like and um, you know they called me back and said, well, do you want us to send somebody up there? Uh, to take a look at it and of course i'm almost three hours away from them but they've always given me excellent service they'll drive all the way up here not a problem um and i said no i said uh he agreed with me that it kind of sounded like a fuel filter at least that was a good place to start uh i said just send me the filter i'll put it on i'll take care of it you don't have to send somebody all the way up here to change a filter so uh they did send me a filter i have it here in this little bag hopefully it's the right one I haven't opened it yet um, so what we're gonna do here today is somewhere back in here oh there it is right there we'll get a light back here after but we're gonna change this fuel filter put a new fuel filter on um, so part of my question here um, and I think he the the gentleman technician at Messix kind of had the same same question i'm climbing in the machine just to show you the hours here quick so don't mind the close-up uh there's gonna be a beep too. cover your ears so now we have 11.2 on there because i moved it around a bit but uh so we were both kind of curious as to why with that low of hours would we have a plugged fuel filter um so when I got the machine, it was full of fuel, obviously. They filled it for me. And uh, at about, I don't know, half a tank or so, maybe a little less than half a tank, or a little more, excuse me. It was, um, I topped it off with fuel from my off-road diesel tank. So um, I don't know if, if it is the fuel filter. The question is, did it stem from fuel that they put in? or did it stem from fuel from my off-road tank? So what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna go outside. Uh, it's cold and miserable out there, so you know I'll do the best I can with the footage. But uh, we're gonna put a new uh, fuel filter on my off-road diesel tank. We're gonna take a sample of that fuel before we change the filter. And uh, we'll bring the filter in, bring the fuel in, and uh, we'll go ahead and we'll change this filter back here. We'll take the machine out, see if that makes a difference. If it did make a difference, then what I'd like to do is uh, obviously I'm thinking about cutting that filter open and seeing what it looks like. But uh, also we'll look at the sample of fuel from my tank and uh, maybe we'll cut the fuel filter open that is on my off-road diesel tank. So maybe we can try and see um, if, if it's the fuel filter, where is the dirt coming from? Is it on my end or their end? There we go. Okay. Now let's get the pan. Righty tighty lefty loosey. Right? <laughs> okay. All right. We got our filter filled up with fuel. I keep uh, some on road diesel fuel, uh, which for those of you who are not aware, it's a fuel diesel fuel you'd buy at a fuel station to put in a, a truck that would be on the road. Uh, it's not dyed the pink color. I keep some of that around just in case I run low since we're out here in the middle of nowhere in case I run low with the uh, truck. So uh, anyway, it's filled up. We got fuel on our rubber seal. And if I don't slip and drop this thing, there we go. Let's see. Okay. 
and tighten. All right. So we've hand tightened that. Now we'll start her up quick and uh, make sure she starts. We don't have air in the system and we'll go from there. check this for leaks and I did end up spilling a tiny bit of diesel down there so I'm gonna clean up all my mess real quick and then we're gonna take it out for a ride up the hill and see if we still have a power loss all right we are outside here and uh, we're gonna go up the driveway because that's pretty steep and we'll see how she does here it's gonna be a bumpy ride we're gonna go wide open throttle back in the garage uh, what does that say 12.3 so what was that about uh, I think one engine hour or so I put on um, playing around with it uh, did some stuff out there and ran it a bit it seemed like maybe once or twice it seemed like we had a little bit of a power loss not a hundred percent sure though it wasn't hardly noticeable um, Stupid me, I should have realized you can change on the screen to put the RPM up there. And uh, so once I realized that, I changed it um, so that I could watch to see if there was a big drop. And uh, from the point that I changed the RPM or, or put it on the screen, um, from then on, I didn't hear anything and I didn't see any major drops. You know, a little fluctuation, of course, uh, but it didn't drop under 2200, you know, running wide open. Uh, it was between the 22, 2300 mark, uh, you know, moving, doing some light digging, things like that. Um, so had I had the RPM up there, which I will do the next time I run it, um, you know, I'll know for sure. Right now, I would say that the problem is 90% taken care of because I didn't notice it over and over and over. So um, let's go ahead. I'll have to charge this battery first on this GoPro because it's almost dead, but uh, once I do that, we'll go ahead and cut those filters open and just see if there's anything in there. Um, go from there. So if there's not really much of anything in there, then I really do need to keep an eye on this issue. And, uh, you know, because it's most likely something else. So, uh, yep, when, when I charge this up, we'll cut those open. <laughs> 